The member from Cottonwood, Representative Hamilton. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I'll uh, quickly walk you through the bill. Um, we have uh, in Section 2, we're investing monies uh, to develop at the uh, uh, Board of Animal Health and the Veterinary Diagnostic Lab a software tool so that we can track uh, emerging diseases, unique pathogens, and uh, antibiotic resistance. Um, we also have um, a an investment for equipment at the veterinary diagnostic lab. Under subdivision three is a provision there for farm safety and tractor rollover. This is Chair Paul Anderson's initiative uh, along with, um, in conjunction with Representative Johnson. Uh, we have a pro uh, appropriation in there for equipment for the Department of Agriculture. Under section three, this is, establishes the agriculture emergency account. Uh, this would allow the Department of Agriculture to be proactive as it pertains to emerging diseases. Section 4 was a governor and the department initiative. This uh, addressed the BMP loan funding for uh, wells to fix uh, any wells that maybe uh, have some contamination there. Section 6, uh, that uh, comes from the revisers and uh, technical fix there. Um, under section and 7, under section 8, uh, there's a few changes to the research dollars there. We want to make sure that we address any potential conflicts of interest uh, with the University of Minnesota uh, serving on that board. Under Section 9, uh, these are some definition changes and some payment changes going to quarterly versus annually. And that takes us all the way, members, to... Excuse me to the final page, which would be the uh, avian influenza response activities. And what this does is gives a little more flexibility to the Board of Animal Health uh, to be able to use those dollars once again, stay uh, focused on avian influenza, but also be able to use those um, uh, monies to address any other emerging diseases.